Hello. It looks like we're live. Um, welcome, people, to this meeting on um, law and uh, rule of law and law enforcement in France. Uh, my name is Phil Buckland. I'm the speaker of the Link Internationals Group, which is organising this meeting. Um, I'll talk to you a couple of things. We have two speakers, one of whom isn't here yet, um, uh, Daniela Bono, who's a French MP, who is currently very busy. There's been accusations, there's been racist cart racist pictures of her in the right wing French press and there's a campaign going on. So I guess she's a bit busy with, with things like that. She'll be with us as soon as she, as soon as she, she can. Uh, we also have uh, Jerome Bachelier, who is a member of La France Insoumise in Berlin, um, the same party as, as Danielle. The way this is going to work is that we're, uh, uh, Jerome's going to say something, then hopefully Danielle will be here and, uh, and, 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 and say her thing. Then there will be time for people to ask questions. If you are logged on at theleftberlin.com, if you look at the bottom right of your screen, there should be a button which says ask a question. If you click on that, you can type in any questions for Jerome or Danielle. Type on those at any time. Um, Jerome's going to be the first of the speakers. So if um, you have any specific questions about what he's saying, then saying, then send a question while he's talking and we can ask him directly afterwards. Otherwise, Daniel will come in and we'll, we'll take the questions at the end of things. Um, a couple of things just before we get started. Uh, say this is organized by the Linker Berlin Internationals Group. We try and organize non-German uh, leftists who are in, 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 in Berlin. Uh, in the good old times, we organized a monthly meeting in the Rotor Lab in Friedrichshain. Um, because of COVID-19 and, and everything, we've had to go online. But this has had the opportunity as well that we can have international guests like uh, Danielle taking part, a place in a, part in our meeting. Uh, so the next meeting, we'll let you know about. China. There's going to be a, a EU-China summit in, um, in, in Germany coming up. And um, there's a lot going, a lot going, going, going on anyway. We'll give more, more information on that. The other thing which I can invite the Berliners to is that the weekend after next, on the 12th to 13th of September, so Saturday and Sunday uh, in a week, we have our, our annual summer camp. That's going to be the Naturfreundehaus uh, Hemsdorf, which is a sort of youth hostel in Berlin Zone B. Uh, there's going to be speakers on all sorts of different things. We're there. We're there socially distanced for the whole weekend you can find more about it on the on our website the or by um sending us a sending us a message so everyone is warmly invited to come along and join in uh, join in that discussion right that's enough of me speaking we will i'll bring jerome in now to talk about um the first sense of uh, the rule of, of law in, in, in france as uh, jerome it was this Meeting started from a suggestion Jerome made a couple of um, uh, a couple of months ago when the Black Lives Matter uh, movement was growing in in France, uh, growing in in the US after the murder of George Floyd, and Jerome was saying, "Hey, look at what's happening with the yellow US after the murder of George Floyd," and Jerome was saying, "Hey, look at what's happening with the yellow vest and with the people in the balnea in, in France. It's not just an American thing." And so we decided to, to organise something about saying, OK, the Black Lives Matter movement in uh, the US is very important. What's happening is extremely important. But there are similar things happening in other parts of the world. And um, I'll stop talking now and let Jerome say it better, better than me. So Jerome will just in introduce us why we're doing this meeting and what it's important to know. Thank you, for, thank you for the introduction, because it's really uh, is what I want to start to really mention the fact that what I was watching in the US uh, in uh, in terms of uh, police repression was very close to what we saw uh, in France. Uh, the fact that journalists were arrested, that the police didn't have any uh, immatriculation numbers on their, on their uniforms. It was the same situation in France. Uh, I'm going to start to talk uh, about uh, the rule of law, the main concept is a separation of power. 
And then after I'm going to go to the origin of the French Fifth Republic, and then I'm going to talk about the, the historical uh, building of the French suburbs. And then we will make a break to take some questions. And then we will go to uh, the switch from the administrative, administrative justice, who actually uh, took place in some many cases, no, too many cases, to the judiciary and uh, justice. So uh, separation of power is based on uh, executive power, legislative power, and judiciary power. The executive power executes and enforces the law and, put, and protect the constitution. The legislative power is, is a system of courts and enterprise and applies law in legal cases. When we talk about uh, this concept, uh, we cannot talk about in a, in a binary way. There are no, we have to think about intensity. Uh, if we look at the First Republic of France, at the beginning, I would say the intensity in terms of separation of power and rule of law, it's medium. Compared to the German uh, fundamental law, which is actually the, the German constitution, we can say it's much, much higher. And from this medium intensity in France, we went to a lower, very low intensity. And I'm going to try to show you, hopefully you're going to be convinced at the end. So the, the first Republic, oh, someone is calling me, coming from, from France, so it's probably Daniel. Uh, okay, do you mind if I'm taking the phone? Sure. Um, Sorry. Okay. So okay. Uh, I, I assume, as I said, that Daniel is very busy at the moment with campaigns against her and that I believe there's going to be a demonstration in Paris next Saturday. So um, hopefully this is her saying she's going to be with us with us shortly. Um, bear, bear with us. Um, as said, this is a meeting organised by the um, Linker Berlin Internationals Group. We organise non-Germans in, in France politically. Uh, the, you can see more about us on the website, theleftberlin.com. And uh, this, the weekend after next, we're organizing a summer camp in Hermsdorf. If you want to know more about that, then just um, go to the website or go to our Facebook accounts, facebook.com slash theleftberlin, T-H-E-L-E-F-T-B-E-R-L-I-N. In a minute, we will have Jerome back. Jerome's a member of uh, France Insoumise in uh, Berlin. He's also active in the Link Internationals group. He will hopefully be bringing Daniel Abono with him. Daniel is a French MP, a former librarian, who at the moment is become involved in a huge scandal in France where right-wing newspapers have been drawing uh, pictures of her as a slave They'll say there is a protest movement against the way in which she's being treated. Uh, there are going to be actions in France in the coming uh, in, 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 in the coming weeks. And so we'll probably hear more from her uh, about this, uh, just about how this works. If you have any questions, unfortunately, because of the way in which this is recorded, you're not able to come online uh not comments of the video and make any questions but you are able to type in questions from our website the website theleftberlin.com at the bottom right there is a red button which says ask a question if you click on that button you'll then get the opportunity to type in a question and i will read that question out for you uh you could be depending on how many questions we get you could we'll either take a series of them asking to Danielle and, uh, and, and Jerome or they'll they'll, they'll answer them individually and we'll just see how that one goes right um hopefully we're going to be uh, hearing, hearing from Jerome so as I said if you if you just come in um Jerome has just gone offline he's just called a phone call which is hopefully Danielle saying saying she's on his her way she's been delayed because she's been uh, very busy with everything that's going on in France and that France in the moment um uh, yeah and then I will Okay, given as we've got time, I will say a little bit more about the uh, summer camp we've got. It'll say it's the 12th and 13th of September. You can see information about it on our website. Just 
let you know some of the uh, workshops which will be go which will be going on. Um, we'll be having people speaking on uh, next year's elections in Germany, on fair rents in Germany. We'll be having someone talking about 10 years of the Arab Spring and the more recent uprisings which have been happening in the Arab world. Uh, someone from Poland talking about challenging the LGBT zones which have been set up there. A member of the Tech Workers Coalition talking about organising tech workers. Uh, it looks like uh, Jerome is back. Jerome? <laughs> Okay. Back. So, okay. <laughs> oh, you're, you're both here. right. That's that's great. Hello, welcome, Danielle. I'm sure you are very, very busy at the moment. We'll, want to offer you full solidarity and everything you're going through. Um, people will be tired of listening to me going on. So, Jerome, <laughs> you, let's go straight into what you were saying. Thank you okay. and welcome. Okay. So. Uh... The, the collapse of the Fourth Republic was the Alger, Alger crisis in 1958. 58, uh, France was still a colonial power, and uh, also conflict and revolt had begun the process of decolonization. Algeria, in particular, despite being the colony with the largest French population, saw rising pressure for separation from metropolitan France. The situation was compli complicated by those in Algeria such as European settlers and many native Jews who want to maintain the union with France. The Algerian war was not just a separatist mo movement, but an element of a civil war. Further complication came when a section of the French army rebelled and openly backed the Algerie Francaise movement to defeat separation. Charles de Gaulle, who had retired from politics a decade before, placed himself in the midst of the crisis, calling on the nation to suspend the government and create a new constitutional system. De Gaulle was carried to power by the inability of the parliament to choose a government, popular protest, and the last parliament of the Fourth Republic voting for the dissolution and the co covening of a constitutional convention. De Gaulle and his supporter proposed a system of strong presidents elected for seven term years through a college, like in Germany. The president under the proposed constitution would have executive power to run the country in consultation with the prime minister, whom he would appoint. On the 1st of June 1958, Charles de Gaulle was appointed head of government without any election. On June 1958, 1958, the constitutional law empowered the new government to draft a new constitution of France, and another law granted Charles de Gaulle and his cabinet the power to rule by decrees for up to six months, except on certain matters related to the body's rights of citizens. This plan was approved by 80% uh, of people who voted in the referendum in 1958. The constitution also replaced the French Union with the French community, which allowed 14 member territory, excluding Algeria, to affect the independence. The president is now elected every five years, changed from seven by a constitutional reform in 2000, to reduce the probability of cohabitation due to a formal difference in the length of term for the National Assembly and presidency. The president is elected in one or two rounds of voting. The politics of France take place with the framework of a semi-presidential system determined by the French constitution of the French First Republic. The nation declared itself to be indivisible, secular, democratic, and a social republic. The constitution provides for separation of power and proclaims France attachment to the right of man and the principle of nat national sovereignty as defined by the Declaration of 17. 89. The political system of France consists of an executive, executive branch, a legislative branch, and a judicial branch. Executive power is exercised by the president of the republic and the government. The government consists of the prime minister and minister. Uh, the, the constitution was changed in July 2008 during Sarkozy mandat. The bill regulated the role of the executive and augmented the parliament's power. And during this change as well, a uh, defender of rights is created. The defender of rights watch over respect for rights and liberties by state administration, local authority, and public establishment. So maybe I make already a break here. Maybe Daniel wants to say something about uh, this, uh, the origin of the First Republic, and then I will talk about the, how the judicial courts and the administrative courts and the Constitution uh, Council. Hi. Um... 
I hope you can hear me. Yep. Good. Is it okay? Yeah. All right. Um, thank you all uh, first for uh, inviting me uh, to this uh, conversation. Um, I think it's very telling when you talk about the um, uh, political system in France, how uh, it came to exist in this uh, uh, actual uh, iteration, how the Fifth Republic happened, actually. Um, and it shows that uh, despite what we may sometimes delude ourselves as French uh, people, um, as if the Republic, the, the, the Republic um, system is uh, somehow coming from glorious ideas and, and um, uh, uh, theoretical uh, and the linear history. It's, a, it's, it's very much um, the expression, just like Marx said, about uh, the, the uh, base and superstructure. It's a reflection of, of uh, power struggle, of class struggle. And, um, and especially with this uh, very specific republic, the, the fact that it came from uh, a colonial war, actually, it's the reaction to a colonial war that, that, um, that, that make this, uh, this system happen. So from the very start, uh, it had all the elements of the power struggle and also uh, rooted into um, French attempt to uh, keep its former uh, colonies under, under uh, its rule. And you had uh, the, 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 the intersection of, of this um, uh, polit political uh, power and political struggle and, and also the the, the colonial aspect and the, the racial aspect of this uh, of this rest of republic is very much at the beginning of uh, of its birth. So I think it's very telling, and and, and Jerome showed it uh, in its uh, in its introduction to the to the matter. Okay. Do you want to take a round of questions already, Philippe, or I go... I go uh, no, uh, there are, to remind people, if you'd like to ask a question, there's a button bottom right, ask a question of your screen. Um, that's no one is sending questions yet. I've got some questions which I'll ask later. But if you carry on and if questions come in, then I'll ask them when they arrive. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the topic of the, of the justice and the different institution. Uh, the judicial court in France, the independent judicia judiciary power is based upon civil law system which involved from the Napole Napoleonic Code. It is divided into judicial branch dealing with civil and law, civil law and criminal law, and the administrative branch dealing with appeal against executive decision, each with their own independent Supreme Court of Appeal, the Court of Cassation for the Judicial Court, and the Conseil d'État for the Administrative Court. Judge are government employees, but, but are granted special statutory protection for the executive. Judge are the sec have security of tenure and may not be promoted or demoted without the consent. The career are overseen by the Judicial Council of France. The public prosecutor, the administrative justice. On the other hand, take, over, take order from the Minister of Justice. In the past, he has paid, he has, this has great suspicion of undue political pressure to dismiss suit or claim against government official charged with corruption in the statute of public prosecutor and the ties to government are frequent, frequently topic of debate. It is actually the debate of tonight. The Constitution Court, neither judicial nor administrative court are unfold to rule on the Constitution of Act of Parliament. So this Constitution, act, this court is actually uh, looking if the law passed by the government or the decrees from the president are uh, I'm going in the frame of the Constitutional Court, of the, of the of French Constitution. Uh, the Constitution Council may declare act to be an unconstitution even if they contradict the principle of the, 19, of the 1789 dec Declaration of Right of Man. The members are appointed for nine years, three every three years. Three are appointed by the president, three by the president of the National Assembly, 
and three by the president of the Senate. Mm -hmm. Former president are also former are also member for life of the Constitutional Council. To, uh, if you, you see this uh, constitution in the US or in Germany, the people who are sitting in this constitution are judged, not in France. They are politicians for most of them. Uh, traditional decision making in France is highly centralized, which is of, uh, and the, the, the person who is in charge of security is uh, the prefect. The prefect is in charge of the, the coordination of the police and the gendarmerie forces. So now I'm going to go to the, uh, the, the historic origin of the suburbs. The French suburbs, unlike the Anglo-Saxon suburbs, uh, which are the white middle class, were created at the end of the 19th century the, to house the working classes. The project is to homogenize a new capital city by generalizing urban facility, particularly the metro, to relieve the demographic pressure from the center ultra to transfer industry beyond the fortification to the periphery. The suburb will left to their own device annual by the public authorities. It open space accommodate warehouse light scale industry. Wages in the suburbs are lower than in Paris. Discipline is harsher. Tailorization is earlier than in the Parisian or Lyon workshop. 1935 marked a turning point in the history of the Parisian suburbs, 26 municipality passed to a communist mayor. The German Soviet pact, the war, the war, the Cold War, and the coalition only temporarily weak the Red Belt, a social political construction that lasts until the end of the 80s. And actually, in the last election uh, in 2017, a lot of uh, MP from the France and Somis won in this district. So we can say that a lot of uh, this red belt came back in the last election in some home. In the context of the baby boom, the beginning of economic growth and the reception of provincial and foreign immigration, the urban population increased. And the situation of the building industry led to a preference for simple chips. So for people who are in Berlin, the, the building in the, in the suburbs are very similar to what you can see in Marzahn or Lichtenberg. But actually, it went so fast that they, they, they didn't plan any uh, collective facility as public transport, for example. The house population is composed of French families, middle and senior managers. Often provincial migrants, they are joined by population of repatriates from the decolonization of the French empire. But the poorest, the very large family, foreign and immigrant population are housed elsewhere in slums, for example. In Saint Denis, one of the, the most famous uh, suburbs in, uh, in France, in, uh, in Paris, in 1960s, the industrial sector accounted for 46% of jobs, compared with 44% in the tertiary ter 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 sector. In 1990s, the industrial sector accounted for 21%, and the tertiary ter sector for 72%. Entire sectors disappearing, metallurgy, machine tools, chemistry, who pres who, whose presence structures the workers' companies. The economic crisis that began in 1953, the global devaluation of labor and a half a century of decentralization led to the disappearance of the, of the industrialized suburbs. As a result of the oil shocks, shocks and the onset of the economic crisis, the government is implanting a new immigration policy. Close the border, assisted return for foreign, for foreign deemed responsible for the crisis, maintain, maintaining the numbers of foreigners, and authorizing family reunification. This policy launched under the socialist government led to the, uh, a decree in 19 April 19, 1976, excuse me, relating to the condition of entry and residence of family members. The integration of families required also in conditions similar to those of French workers. As a result, the landscape of the working class suburbs had undergone major change. The 25, the 255 Cheney town in metro urban France, including 120 in the Paris region, which shows 50,000 immigrants have been reabsorbed and the population were like relocated to large social housing estates. Social, uh, social housing is being opened open up in a very proactive way to foreign family, which is hoped, which will bring them bring them up to the suburban living standard of French society. 
The organizations that manage the social housing in Spain will welcome this new tenant. But at the same time, a new law makes the most modest family solvent. The idea is to distribute immigrant family among French households, according to quotas of around 15 per 15%. But the community reunification, which we never thought, never thought or not anticipate. North African family became the majority in Le Manguet, suburbs in Paris during the 1970s. In Saint-Denis, the foreign school population increased from 17% to 30% between uh, 1975 and 1983. And in 1992, 74% of North African households were turned out in low rent housing. At the same time, as, a pop as this population were arriving in this district, France was emptying off its industry. So, uh, Daniel, if you want to say something about uh, this, uh, about this situation, which is uh, actually the, the end of the 20th century. Um, I, I, I won't have much about the description. Um, I would like more to emphasize uh, the, the, what is, what it, what it meant, and also what, uh, why it's part of um, also uh, a political dynamic, uh, what it meant for uh, French society. I think uh, uh, the, the development of um, the suburbs uh, has been part of, um, of um, the, the growth of, of working class uh, in France. And, uh, and uh, it's, it's very telling because uh, the first generation of, of those um, post-colonial uh, era uh, migrants uh, were um, sent to the suburbs uh, at first uh, with uh, and, and, and that created this culture of this working class culture. Uh, but uh, at the beginning they were uh, living in actual slums and it's part of this process of friends needing um, uh, Workforce uh, that that uh, that created this this uh, much more mixed uh, uh, working class and and it's also um, it's been it's been part of the of the the, uh, the social movement because from the very beginning beginning there have been resistance uh, very little known uh, about because because this is not part of history that has been very much researched. And people were not very interested that that uh, social movements and and, um, and uh, uh, anti-racist groups have been doing the work, and showed and and more and more uh, academics are really focusing on that. How from very beginning, uh, those um, those people have been uh, fighting against discrimination uh, in the in the factories uh, and um, and also. Uh, in, a, in, 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 the, in the in the city, how they organized to, to, to create this this, this uh, uh, working class culture in the suburbs that is also a form of resistance against both exploitation and, and racism. Uh, I think it's very important to also uh, show that and to talk, to talk about it because it showed that um, that was not a process, a new, a new unilateral process. There have always been uh, for this um, post-colonial uh, migrants uh, that became uh, friends that that um, migrated to France, uh, and all the previous uh, ways of migrants that uh, that um, uh, became became French and and were discriminated against, uh, with the specificity that for those those uh, population they've been subjected to. To, to acute to racism, to, to police violence from the very beginning, but they also resisted. That's the point I wanted to add to, uh, to, your, uh, to your, your presentation. Do you have any questions, Philip? Oh, well, I, I have a question. There's no questions in, but... And it relates to suburbs and it relates to two films. Um, 25 years ago, we saw the release, sorry, there's <laughs> sirens outside. Uh, we, 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 we saw the release of uh, Matteo Kasiewicz's La Haine, which was seen as being a shocking 
story about life in the suburbs, about um, racism, uh, police repression, and and also resistance from the people inside inside the suburbs of Banjir. Um, this year, there was a release of um, Les Miserables, was the French, French t- title, which showed exactly the same thing. It says the repression is still there, the police attacks on migrants are still there, but also the resist- resistance is there. And it goes to the question, you said how the suburbs came into being. Have things changed in terms of conditions there? And have things changed on the terms of how people within the uh, Banya are reacting? For either of you. Okay, uh, should I? I, mm-hmm. I, can... I, didn't, I didn't watch the movie uh, Les Miserables, so I cannot, I cannot talk about it. Oh, you should. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe I can. What I think interesting with this compari- co- comparison is that um, the Museum has been um, uh, produced, uh, uh, has been directed actually by a, a black uh, uh, a black man, a, a, an Afro-French black man, and I think it shows it shows both. Uh, it sh- shows two things to me. Uh, this comparison shows two things to me. Uh, the first thing is that what is being uh, denounced in the film, among other things, are the same that uh, that had been happening for for the past 20, 30 years, and even before. And of course, it shows um, the, some lack of progress uh, in, uh, in in French society. But I think it's interesting also to show that uh, there's been a change of uh, of the nar- of who is speaking about it. I think it's very important to show that um, the the uh, the narrative voice in this in this uh, in Les Misérables is is very much the from the point of view of the of the of the people who are di- directly concerned by the issue. I think uh, Lion was was um, uh, directed and produced by Mathieu Kassovitz, who, uh, uh, who did a, a brilliant job. But I think it's it's what was very uh, revolutionary, uh, which sh- shouldn't be, but was very very revolutionary in France is that. Um, it was the work of, of, of one of those kids, and uh, and so you 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 see the the the, um, the, the expression of those uh, generation of the of French people, young French people um, uh, who are discriminated against, but who are not, who are more and more vocal about it in their in their uh, area of work, and it's, it's whether it's in film that you have. Uh, people in the, uh, the 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 news uh, in journalism and more and more people who are like um, very uh, vocal about their experience, not just about racism or violence, but that's that's I think a very um, uh, anchor, um, interesting uh, development in the past 20, 20 years. But of course, uh, the, the most uh, um, shocking. Uh, thing is that it's uh, the 20, 20 years later we're still facing the the, the same uh, realities um, and 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 uh, it's it's you could say the same thing about uh, the the U.S. in terms of, of police brutality and the lack of of progress in that sense. Um, yet I think the the movement we witnessed, whether in the U.S. or in France, against Police brutality against violence against racism shows um, uh, the resistance that I've been building and that that is expressing also. Thanks. Would you like to add anything, Jerome? Oh yeah, actually, I mean, uh, in terms of music, in, uh, in by the same time we have the success of Land. There were already some very successful albums. I, I think I bought the album of uh, I Am. L'école du micro, l'école du micro d'argent. And in, in one song of L'école du micro d'argent, he, he really mentioned the fact that, uh, that this topic uh, of, uh, of the suburbs and the insecurity topic, uh, uh, Akhenaton, who is a singer of I Am, really mentioned the fact that the insecurity and the violence have been always there. Always, it has been always there. It's just the fact it came in the media every 10, 15 years, I would say, that it's coming in the media, but 
now the change for me is really the fact that uh, the administ administrative justice is really taking the, in charge the justice in the suburbs and now taking uh, all the people from lower social class, they judge them. They are the conscription of, of a second justice and now is what I'm going to talk about it. And uh, it starts from the, from, from my opinion, it starts at the beginning of, of the first century, especially when the president terms office uh, changed from uh, seven years to five years. And the presidents become the head of the executive leading de facto to the end of the separation of the power between the legislative power and the executive power. On the one hand, the suburbs are facing mass unemployment resulting from the policy, policy of disindustrialization like no other country will experience. On the other hand, the police force that is facing downsizing due to austerity policy and that has never looked back its responsibility in the repression of Algerian that led to the October 1961 tragedy when hundreds of Algerians were murdered by the police under the order of Maurice Papon, tried in 1990 seven for a crime against humanity for his responsibility in the deportation of Jew between 1942 and 1943. In 2005, a police blunder led to the riot that led to the establishment of the state of emergency. The state of emergency gives power to the administrative justice to arrest and incarcerate individual suspects of illegal acts more quickly. It actually gives extraordinary power to the police and to the administrative justice. During this period, the Minister of the Interior, Nicolas Sarkozy, stood up, at the, stood up at the personification of the establishment to campaign for the presidency. The communication operation will be successful in 2007. In the face of the social crisis, the state's response with repression and the use of new weapons, a new police force dedicates to the suburbs. In 1994, a former high-ranking civil servant in the colonies created an anti-crime brigade named La Bac. With specific methods and weapons, some new lethal weapons were tested in this territory for later use for the law enforcement during demonstration. Facial control exposed in these territories, the defenders of rights, a post created to control freedom without any power than adversary in 2008. Judge that young men perceived as black or Arab are 20 times more likely to be controlled. The number of police plunder and deaths explodes in, almost general, in, an, in an almost general indifference. In 2006, 140 complaints were filled with the National Ethics and Security Commission. By 2018, the Defenders of Rights Rule Play the Commission had received 1,520 complaints. The name of the deaths are explicit. Mohamed Gapsi, Cédric Chouvia, Ibrahim Abba, Steve Maria Camisso, Sinel Rodois, Henri L'Enfant, Abou Bakar Fofana, Gay Camara, Selon Emetis, Louis Bico, Jérôme Larose, Liu Saoyo, Adama Traoré, and the children who died in 2005, Sinel and Bena, Sinel Bena and Buna Traoré, excuse me, who ran away from the police because they were scared from the police. The majority of the victims were black or Arab. In the majority of cases, the investigation were given to judge for like rely on the administrative justice. In the other words, investigation is, is given to a body that depends on the same ministry, the same administration. There is, no, there is therefore no independence and no respect for the separation of power. In November 2015, after the Paris terrorist, after the Paris terrorist attack, the socialist president Hollande declared a state of emergency. During this period, environmental activists and trade unionists were victims of a terrible repression. Many were under house arrest during the United Nations Climate Change Conference demonstration in 2015. 2016, demonstration against the labor law, La Loi El Khomri, will see a change in law enforcement strategy. Weapon use in the suburbs will not be used against demonstration, and many trade unionists will be deprived of their right to demonstrate because of house arrest. These weapons are flashball, flashbang, explosive tear gas grenade. But it is during the movement of the yellow vest that the violence of this device will explode. In the meantime, the new President Macron is going to put a new nail, a new nail in the coffin of the rule of law. The anti-terrorist bill is officially intended to take over from the exceptional regime in force in France since 
October, since November 2015. By, by then, the law strengthened the new internal security and the fight against terrorists will have transposed into any ordinary law for administrative measure, ordered by a prefect or the interior ministry on the basis of information often provided by the intelligence services in the form of a brief white note that are neither dated nor signed. Administri administrative search have been renamed house visit during which season may be carried out. Unlike the states of emergency, the new form of administrative search must be authorized by a judicial judge who will take his decision based on the administrative investigation. Another key measure of the state emergency, the transformation of house arrest into an obligation to reside within a certain perimeter. The draft law also provides for the possibility for prefect to continue to establish a protection zone, within which law enforcement agency have exceptional power to control individuals. In the draft law, this zone becomes protection perimeters. However, the derogation from ordinary law remains the same. Finally, the fourth measure of the state of emergency imported into ordinary law is that that prefect will be available to order the closure of a religion place. In 2018, following a fuel tax that comes on top of, of all the law waking the most underprivileged social crisis, 10 of thousands of French people will block the country. Dressed in yellow vests, they will demonstrate it in the city center of medium size and large town, faced with determination and non-organization. The law enforcement will turn into an historic repression. The lack of manpower, training, and sometimes bad ammunition will lead to a number of unprecedented police blunder in modern history. The method were intended to sow fear and panic among the demonstrators. They are sometimes surrounded and gazed without the possibility of leaving a given area. Brigade used in the suburb are going to use for lack of manpower against the vest. For example, uh, Labac uh, will be used during this demonstration. So the casualty were 4,438 injured, 344 head injuries, 29 with hand torn off. And in terms of arrestation, we have 2,000 people arrested, 10,718 police custody were injured, probably, and 300 thousand conviction and we have right now still today I'm thinking about 400 people in jail from this movement actually uh, during the last summer camp um, Jean-Luc Mélenchon mentioned that there were 800 so I don't know actually about the numbers so that's it for me so if there are any questions or if Daniel wants to add something about this uh, very sad direction that uh, our justice no, I mean, if you can add something about that. Yeah, I think uh, the, I, I wanted to point that what we witnessed, of course, there's been the repression, and I, I think it showed how deeply uh, the Macron regime has been sh uh, shocked and, and, and shaped, uh, shook by um, the, the movement. Uh, we've never witnessed such a level of. of Repression uh, in, in France. We've had uh, a, a long history of social movements and uh, radical social movements. Uh, we are a revolutionary country. We have a revolutionary history. Um, yet it's it's unprecedented in the history of the Fifth Republic. And and we're talking about uh, Fifth Republic, uh, as you said at the beginning, that was born out of colonial war, um, an attempted coup. Uh, of the state, uh, uh, and um, and also uh, we had in '68 uh, this this massive uh, working class uh, and, and and student uh, social movement, and it's 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 interesting at the time because uh, um, there were the, the level of destruction uh, was very uh, important at the time. We we some uh, some sometimes. Uh, Forget about that. Those what what uh, happened in, in cities like Paris and with, with a lot of clash with the uh, between the police and and and, and, and 
striking workers and, and students and stuff. And at the same time, uh, the strategy of the, of, the, of the power at the time was that not to push too uh, far the confrontations, actually acknowledge the fact that um, the, the level of, of, of uh, confrontation was dictated by the state, actually. And they had, uh, and they actually uh, back down because it was it was the the, the politics and the, and the, and the, the regime at the time realized that they were aiding into uh, a, a massive confrontation because of course there was the, the working class strike and it was uh, and it, and it plays a lot um, in the way um, the, the the regime didn't uh, 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 temper down uh, uh, tone down the, the repression. And when you compare with what happened with the Yellow Vest movement, um, you re really realize that it's the will of the regime. Macron decided to use uh, a brute police force to, to suppress the Yellow Vest movement. That's the only tool he had because he's lacking legitimacy. Uh, for the past three years, he showed his, himself as the president of the wealthy, as we, we nickname him. And, and this nickname that we, we 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 created uh, in La France Insoumise now is is widespread because he actually turned out to be this this guy, and he also turned out to be a quite an authoritarian um, president in the sense that he fully embraced all of the the the, the most uh, authoritarian characteristic of the of the Fifth Republic, what we call the uh, this Republican monarchy. And and because it was a, a regime that was born out of, as I say, a coup and uh, and 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 a war, a colonial war, and it was uh, tailor made for uh, for um, the the general uh, de Gaulle, uh, and with the, the very uh, um, horizontal uh, hierarchy and 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 this this type of lead, uh, of ruling. Uh, and 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 it always had this this problematic uh, dynamics uh, in it. And now we we coming to the end. I think it, this republic, this style of of gov uh, of government of uh, um, this this presidential monarchy is actually uh, dying because it can't it, it, it's too removed from the way uh, things should be in in, in, a, in a time of. Uh, citizen uh, struggle and 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 uh, and democratic crisis. This is uh, what we are advocating for in La France Insoumise. Is a, a a new constitution, uh, a, con a constitutional pro process that will uh, 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 show uh, uh, that will uh, reform the republic, and we have a sixth republic that actually is is is, demo is an actually more democratic um, system. Um, so you had Macron, which is this kind of uh, uh, is is ridicule of this, this uh, self-appointed um, monarch, uh, and 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 people when what they the, the yellow vest movement uh, called and and they there there is this very revolutionary um, uh, uh, tradition that was revived by the yellow vest movement when they said they want to go to uh, l'elysee to, to 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 take down the the, the king actually and it, it has all those themes that you found in, in the movement it's very it's, it's very uh, striking um and uh, and the nice thing i wanted to add about that and uh, the, the the dynamic of police repression and and uh and uh crumbling fifth republic uh, but the connection between um, the Yellow Vest movement and the anti uh, anti racist movement um, and those po populations that have been subjected to police repression for a long time without much uh, support from the working class struggle of the left uh, and um, uh, and the experience of such a repression of a mass scale and the way the Yellow Vest movement had been had been uh, I've been I've been repressed. Actually, um, uh, created I think the basis of of a much stronger solidarity in social movement and and uh, and, and bigger awareness of what the, the rationalized people in France and black and and brown and people of color in France have been 
um, I've been I've been brutalized by police force and by the state. And also, so those are also in this period, um, uh, I think, signs that is, there is new alliances that can be built. Sorry for being a bit too, too long about that. No, in, in fact, you preempted my next question, which uh, would be good if you could go in, in a bit more. Um, you've so far, you, you've both been talking about two different movements and two different forms of repression. First, there's the movement in the banlieue and the repression, which has a very racial element. And then there's the Yellow Vest movements, which certainly the way it's been reported in Germany is being reported as being a very white movement, a movement which the uh, Rassemblement National ha have tried to try to uh, infiltrate or try to uh, try to influence. And so, it'd be nice if if you both you could say about more how are these movements coming together? But another question: How has the Black Lives Matter movement in France? How has that been taken by the Guillaume and um, the, uh, um, and has 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 there has there been any interaction there? You may either of you. Yeah. Well, well, the, the only thing I can say that actually that uh, at the end of November or the beginning of December, the the collective uh, Justice pour Adama. So Adama Traoré is one of his victims of the police, who has a very strong uh, and uh, very, um, I say, is very important in terms of uh, mediatic presence uh, and social network as well. They they call three weeks after the beginning of the Yellow Vest to support to support them, and uh, I think two weeks after, or maybe one week after, no, let's say, let's say, let's be honest, I think two weeks after, they were anti semites they were racist, they were, I don't know, they were violent, of course. So those people have the right to be uh, all the bad things. <laughs> so that was actually a, a mediatic strategy in France and, of course, all around the world because uh, it's uh, the best way to... Uh, uh, to get rid of uh, mobilization like that is to accuse them of anti semitism racism, and That's clear. Uh, Danielle, do you want to add something? Yeah, um, maybe about the way the Yellow Vest movement has been portrayed, um, but also the way, I mean, we have the same um, attacks on the, the, the anti racist movement that has been, been um, Attempts by the press and the and and the and the state to disqualify uh, both movements on pretty much the same ground, being yeah, uh, anti-Semite or, or or so. And uh, um, I think it's um, important to remind people that actually the Yellow Vest movement started out uh, from a petition that that was launched by um, a black woman, Cecilia Ludowski. Uh, and that garnered, ga garnered uh, over, uh, I mean, um, hundreds of, 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 of signature. And that's actually what sparked the movement and people um, uh, got into it uh, because, because it, it, it spoke about their lives and, and they actually uh, identified with them, themselves with, with the, that call for action. Uh, and. Um, and 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 it's it's interesting that how Lucila Lodowski has been raised of her own you know movement and uh, the, the movement she, she pretty much uh, started um, and also there have been connections as I said the experience of state violence actually connected the movement uh, created awareness and I think the way the movement uh, uh, against police brutality against uh, structural racism started in France uh, uh, in the wake of uh, in in the aftermath of the, the Yellow Vest movement um, was also made possible because of what happened uh, during that, 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 that last year, because of the Yellow Vest movement, um, the, 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 um, the fact that uh, seeing the, the image of, 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 of black bodies being brutalized sparked such a, uh, an, 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 an emotional, an emotional reaction uh, 
because of the, the we, we've been um, we've been seeing uh, police uh, videos of police brutality for months, and 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 and, and the general uh, opinion, the public opinion, has been sent, uh, has has been really um, uh, uh, sensitive about that issue. Um, so I, I think there's a, there's 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 um, actual connection be between the movement and and the fact that this movement was actually supported by the majority of the population. Um, so it's um, those are I think um, uh, very. I mean the, the outrage starts from the the, the same places. It's uh, um, th both are protests against injustice, uh, structural injustice, social and racial injustice and i think that's what makes it um interesting to see how uh, we we managed to build alliance between, between those movements and to see what will happen next because because none of those crises have been resolved uh, the universe movement's uh, demands are still very much um relevant and and have may not be answered so it's still um and and even the covid 19 crisis uh, adding an, an extra layer of of, of uh, unrest and uh, this discontent, um, the very contradictory way, but but the, the way the government has been also reacting to that is very is, is very uh, criticized. So I think we are still in this moment um, of of uh, unrest and instability in France and and. And those two movements, the Yelavis movement and the anti-racist, anti-police brutality movement, are, are really part of this um, social movement, very um, uh, strong. And even though it's, it's more uh, toned down from now, uh, I think any 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 sparkle can just make it all oh, um, uh, explode again uh, on on. Um, uh, into the street or in one way or another and um, uh, and I want to just add a, a last thing about the Yelavis movement people uh, uh, what was striking for me especially in the context of of a very uh, um, of systemic racism in, in France and of media a sphere, uh, media life where the, the the idea of the far right are, are, are much more widespread. It was very striking that the main demands of the year of this movement were not about migrants. You had the far right who tried to pressure and to and to push the movement into that direction. That was for sure, uh, because it was composed of a different type of people. But they didn't succeed. And and from from the beginning to the end, the main demands were about uh, social justice, and there were also some demand about, you know, uh, an anti-racist uh, demand that that came uh, on top of uh, of, of uh, the, the demands of the movement. What emerged of the demand of the movement? So, uh, to me, it's it's a, it's a sign of um, something that said that it's uh, uh, it's something powerful happening. It's not um, uh, drive by any any organized force for now. We supported both movements, and we were. La France Insoumise was one of the only uh, movement that was actually uh, defending and supporting those both of those movements uh, because I mean there were you know people's movement actually and and um, and uh, and they're still to me um, the, the 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 source of very much uh, hope for for the future in France uh, in our in our. Uh, Political fight for for equality and for for another world. Okay, thanks, Fizz. We've got a question in from the public. Just people who are watching this, um, you can put questions in. You go to where this is being shown on the leftberlin.com and press the red button at the bottom right, which says "Ask a Question." I seem to remember. And um, this question, I don't have a name, but it comes from Whitley Bay in the United Kingdom. And the questioner says, very interesting meeting. Could the comrades say something about the role of trade union leaders in the coming months? Are they supporting Black Lives Matter and workers' movements? So a question, what are the French trade union, trade union leaders doing at the moment? Does either of you want, want, want to take this? Yeah, 
Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I think she, she knows much, much better than me, uh, than me the situation in France, um, uh, especially about this topic. Yeah, I think the, the trade union movement, I mean, I mean we, 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 didn't sp we didn't speak about uh, another, a third social movement had happened uh, over the past year, which is the um, anti-pension reform movement that has been also very oppressive um, strikes and demonstration happening. So uh, just that, that remind me that in the span of three years, we, we had the most massive uh, popular revolt with witness with the Yellow Vest movement, uh, working class uh, mobilization and, uh, and, and anti-racist um, movement. So, uh, uh, so so we, we 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 actually managed i mean no we didn't covid 19 man, managed to put um an out and uh, to, to the, the pension re uh, reform which which was anti worker uh which was an illegal re reform that uh, uh intended to um, privatize the the uh, social security and and pension system um and, and there was this uh, combination of demonstration and strike, especially railway workers who went on strike, very hard strike. And, and actually, right now, we're witnessing a backlash uh, with the anti trade union uh, repression happening in, in, the, in the transport system, in the transport uh, sector uh, against workers and strikers during the, the, the reform, um, anti, anti pension reform movement. Yet we, we have this very strong movement. Um, that I mean, that shows you that the, 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 the dynamics of class struggle, which intertwine, which, uh, uh, all those dynamic, all those sectors, uh, of the, of the movement. And, and, and you, you have actually, uh, yellow vest um, uh, people uh, who uh, went to support uh, the, the strike, who demonstrated uh, uh, against the pension reform, and also demonstrated uh, against police brutality. So you have connection. The problem we we fa we faced, I think, uh, between the yellow vest movement and the anti-pension reform movement is that. Actually, I think the leadership, the trading leadership missed an historic opportunity uh, back in December 2019, at the moment where uh, the, the, the regime was really, really weakened by the, the, the rising dynamic of the, of the Yellow Vest movement. And at that moment, there were a lot of this discussion about whether we would, where we, the, 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 there will be a call for a uh, strike. Uh, at, at, to, to, to support the demands, uh, the progressive demands of the Yellow Vest movement, uh, and I and that opportunity was actually missed. And um, so, uh, the movement happened a couple of months later uh, uh, around the, the pension reform and the opposition of the pension reform. But so, so um, I think there's um, a lot of that discussion into into trade unions right now and. Uh, uh, to assess what has been happening and why we that opportunity was missed, and 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 how uh, uh, part of the people who went uh, who actually um, were part of the Eleves movement uh, had a, were very critical of trade unions, and uh, and and uh, and it's it's I think it's it's a, a very learning experience for from rank and file, but also some for some part of the leadership. Um, so, uh, you know, all the, the political trade, um, trade unions, uh, uh, social movements in France have been impacted uh, by uh, uh, the, 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 pop the populist in the sense of um, uh, out of any organized, uh, traditional organized uh, structure, uh, nature of the Yellow Vest movement. Um, and, and we've been trying to uh, create a, a connection and, and build solidarity between what all that has been happening. Uh, and I think it's still under works. Uh, I think it's still it's still um, it's still be, being being um, uh, debated and uh, 
And more than that, the question is how, how now do we connect with all those people and create um, uh, the next time uh, that will happen? I don't, we don't know when, but it will happen, as I said. The situation is still very uh, uncertain. Uh, we, we, we actually come together, all, all of us, yellow of us, uh, and, 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 and the youth and, and, and the, the, tra the, the workers uh, to, to uh, whether it's on the strike, the social movement, or, or during uh, the elections, how do we make it um, an actual uh, uh, force that challenged the, the, the state and the, and, the, and the regime and the Macron regime? I don't know if it's answering the question. But, um, well, I've got, I have a follow-up question on the, exactly that, which is you've talked about these, the different movements, what's happening in the, in the Banlieue, what's happening with the Yellow Vest, what's happening um, in pension plans and things like that. I just like... So, Danielle, you're an, an MP for La France en Antimise and as Rome, you're active in France en Antimise in Berlin. In terms of you bringing these things together, what do you see as being the role of France en Somise? What, what, what has France en Somise got to offer all these different people involved in different, different campaigns? Well, for one, I'm going to be pretty short about it because obviously I'm, I'm I mean, I don't have the, the, the distance to actually have a fair, uh, a bit, but from where I'm standing, I think we're, what we've managed to do is actually, um, actually uh, uh, support the movement. That was not a given. I mean, uh, now you, when people talk about the yellow based movement, everybody recognize uh, the, the the importance of this movement, but it was not a given. And we and the movement had been um, portrayed in in a very uh, uh, bad light and in and, and, and bad way and we had to fight alongside and we supported it and uh, and I think it was it was a turning point because we especially when the repression started uh, and we've been targeted for this uh, because we've been said to be anti-police and all and, and so on and so forth so um, I think it, it's a very important role uh, to be the um, the one standing with of the people uh, who are leading the movement, who are building the movement, who are the movement, standing with the, 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 the social movement. Uh, we also um, um, actually pu pushed the, 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 the fight against the pension uh, reform into the institution because um, we, we actually uh, are uh, the reason why the process was altered uh, in the parliament, because we we had this, um, uh, we, we 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 had lots uh, thousands of uh, amendments on the on the on the bill uh, that made it impossible for them to actually uh, do the, the the reading of the bill on time, and that's the reason why they had to use um, uh, an executive order to push through, uh, which showed their weakness. And uh, and that's one of the reasons why they were so late in, in their in, in their timetable, and they had to stop. And all the process actually stopped because they were running out of time. And then the COVID nineteen crisis happened. And uh, what I mean is that we we had um, the, the the capacity, even though we are a small parliamentary group, to to combine with the the, the, the movement and and to uh, and to and to uh, defeat actually, uh, even though it's temporary, uh, uh, to, to, to defeat the, the, the plan of the, the plans of the government, um, and we've also been part in supporting uh, the anti anti police brutality movement. So I would say that um, uh, it doesn't automatically translate into, for instance, um, uh, electoral gains because. Because what we saw also is that on the electoral plan, uh, on the electoral feed, people actually still abstain for a, a engaging. We had uh, uh, the highest level of abstention during the, 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 the last um, 
last spring uh, local government election, which happened in the midst of a pandemic, which was already, which was from the beginning a very bad idea. And and uh, usually those type of elections are uh, the the one um, with the exception of the presidential election, which has uh, a decent um, turner. Turn, uh, turnout, uh, but we had now the lowest uh, turnout uh, that has been registered for those elections. So we still, uh, we still in this this crisis of uh, electoral and democratic crisis happening. But I think what we we, we managed to be um, to to bridge uh, to be a bridge uh, and to be uh, the uh, and to to be a voice inside the institutions. Of the of the movement, I think it's 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 been important because we also need to rebuild um, connection inside the social movements uh, and to strengthen the social movements. And we've been allies uh, we've been allies to, to the social movement in that regard. Uh, and I think it's um, it's what it's what activists uh, and and revolutionary uh, needs to be useful at. Uh, useful. We are at the service of the of the of the movement, and we will. And, and we, we, that's what we've been trying to to do. And I think we we actually succeed in that sense to 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 strengthen the movement and to uh, and to tell, help help the movement uh, um, gain those 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 temporary success in terms of you know shaking the. The Macron regime. Jerome, as a François Soumise activist, do you want to add anything to this about what François Soumise is doing? Well, uh, actually, uh, I think 18 months ago, uh, already during the Yellow Vest movement, Jean Luc Mélenchon suggests to organize a, a kind of federation uh, to try to but every union, association, political party we want to uh, get rid of, uh, of, the, of the government, it didn't succeed. Then after Mélenchon, in two interviews in Libération, uh, suggests to work on a government agreement. Till now, we didn't have any answer from any political party. And in the last summer camp, uh, we suggest to work on common goal. So it's... It's very, uh, say, uh, frustrating because we we try to to move on with a um, with a social movement, and what we see is uh, different political party and different organization don't really want to work together. And somehow, it's what I, I see, because if you look at socially, the country is in is boiling. Already six months ago, it was already. Uh, uh, very bad situation for the government. And now, with what's going on, what is going to happen, uh, I'm wondering what is going to happen because uh, it was a kind of um, of a civil war with the Innovest and we went to this uh, pension reform was a disaster for the executive in terms of communication. Then Macron uh, decided to change his government. And actually, uh, the topic tonight was about justice and, and, and law enforcement. And the Minister of Justice and the entire minister have been kicked out. <laughs> so it's a very, very strange time. Uh, there are some communication to try to pretend that things are going to change. But of course, we see it in the, in the different uh, decision from the government. It, it feels the same politic. It's giving a lot of money to private corporation. And he asks us to work even longer <laughs> than before. So I, I think the social situation in France is very bad. And uh, I won't be surprised if the yellow vests uh, are coming out. And well, we'll see. <laughs> but I'm very pessimistic uh, in the next month what is going to happen in France. Uh, actually, the main 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 topic is probably what the police is going to do, because I, I think at some point uh, it's impossible to uh, to stay in a country where the only answer is a repression. I mean, at some point it's impossible. I mean, I mean, of course, at the end of the year, I mean, not at the end, but in December two thousand um, eighteen, I think, he gave. Uh, 
give some, I think, one billion of euros or something like this to uh, to try to solve the problem, but you don't solve the problem at all because the inequality in France are so high and the, de the, the disinstitutionalization of the country like we saw during the COVID-19 is dramatic, it's dramatic. We didn't have any mask, we, I mean, probably like in, uh, in Great Britain, we didn't have anything. The, the, the walkers didn't have any masks, didn't have any things to walk, and uh, and the government, like uh, Obono, Obono said, then you say, I mean, the government was giving some information, and then two weeks after, was giving the opposite <laughs> decision. So it was like this during months and months. It's uh, it's it's disaster in terms of politics uh, since uh, since months and months, not only socially but as well in terms of communication and in terms of leadership. Okay, thanks. I've now got a specific question around Black Lives Matter in France. I, I, what I think has been inspirational in the last few months is that Black Lives Matter in the States have just kept at it. The, 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 in Germany, we had a couple of demonstrations and kind of died down. The anger is still there, but the idea of mobilization. And the mobilizations in the States are going on and on. And the whole discussion about defunding the police has become a serious issue, which has been which has been pushed through in Seattle as being being discussed worldwide. Um, how is the situation in France? It, does Black Lives Matter still exist as an organisation which is doing things? Does it exists as a mood in people's mind. How are th how are things going? Maybe Danielle, you're more centrally involved. Um, actually, in France, it's not, there's no such thing of the Black Lives Matter movement. It's more, um, as I said previously, the anti police brutality movement, um, it's not labeled as Black Lives Matter. Um, it, it's been um, a movement uh, of re resisting and opposing uh, and denouncing police brutality for decades. Uh, it's not something new. Uh, as, as the, the projects in, in the US are not new, they're like coming from a long history of uh, resistance from the people affected by those uh, that state violence. Um, in France, uh, you can date it back to, I mean, uh, to, 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 to police repression and state repression, but in the, the, the I mean, the second half of the, the, the 20th century, um, in, in the, in the, Late 70s and, and early 80s, and especially 1983, about this big movement uh, against police brutality that translated in a big demonstration, uh, a big march throughout the country, and what's called the, uh, the march for equality uh, and against police brutality. That meant that it was not uh, just about um, state repression, but also uh, a social and economic inequality. Um, and I think what has been happening over the past years, and that also um, were boosted uh, by the uh, the, the, the echo uh, of the Black Lives, the U.S. Black Lives Matter movement, uh, when we saw thousands of young people, mostly young people, and uh, unexperienced in activism at all, uh, but a very diverse um, crowd uh, of of um, of a uh, uh, demonstrator that gathered in, in early June um, in front of the, of the courts uh, in Paris to support uh, the, the fight of uh, Assa uh, and the, the Traoré family uh, uh, demanding justice uh, for the death of uh, Adama Traoré. And then um, uh, 10 days later uh, in the streets of Paris, the uh, the, the state actually forbade the, the, the demonstration to happen, but the thousand and thousand gathered uh, Place de la République um, to show support uh, to the anti police brutality movement and to all the uh, family uh, movements that had been struggling for years without any public acknowledgement, without any media um, attention, but, but fighting for justice. So those were very powerful movement and what we call the rebirth um, of the of the anti-racist movement uh, because we had never we hadn't witnessed such a such a, um, a movement for for years 
um, and it was very welcoming. And uh, and I think so. What I wanted to emphasize is that um, the death of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement in the U.S. Uh, certainly played a part in um, in uh, in boosting this movement. But as I said, also what has been happening in in France in the in the past three years. Uh, the Yellow Vest movement, the the anti pension reform movement, uh, played also a part, and of course, and also the, the COVID nineteen um, uh, all all uh, situation and the way the the way the government has been mishandling the uh, the response to to it. Uh, so you got those the situation uh, where uh, new generations are 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 now leading. Uh, the anti-racist movement, uh, and it's very refreshing and it's very welcome, welcomed because uh, those are the people directly affected by those that, uh, and there's a very strong sense of um, uh, autonomy and the and and the me and uh, uh, the the call to organize to self-organize uh, and not depend on on external organization, uh, but we we've been building collaboration because at the same time of the those movements were like growing. We've been uh, in the in the parliament. We've been voicing their demand. We've been pushing forward a proposal of legislation to out police brutality and uh, out the use of of lethal weapons and and techniques. Uh, so we've been building building the this this collaboration. Uh, uh, inside the, the institution, and we've been marching onto the street with, with them. So that's what I, yeah, the, the, to me, it's, it's a very inspiring uh, movement. And I think uh, there's a lot of more to come uh, because uh, the response, the repressive response, didn't work. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, the, the demands need to be uh, answered. And uh, and people are still uh, won't be silenced, uh, and and there's a strong sense of you know uh, strength and dignity, and and the fact that uh, we won't be silenced, we won't be um, we won't be uh, uh, terrorized by by, by the state, uh, and uh, and so uh, there there's there's a lot more to come, I think. In the, the next month, uh, in the term of, of anti-racist uh, movement, growing and, and fighting back. Okay, thanks. Um, to let people know, we will start to wind up soon enough. The uh, online meetings are a bit more strenuous than, than other than others. You still got a chance to send last questions to uh, Danielle or Jerome by pressing the ask a question button bottom right on your screen at the leftberlin.com i i have a question which you may not want to answer either but i wonder if uh either of you has anything to say about um danielle's case at the moment so uh, people don't know a right-wing french magazine has published a racist sketch of danielle which has caused outrage um is there anything you'd like to say about this, or would you rather just not talk about it? Um, I, I can say a few words, even though uh, it's still very much happening, and um, it's uh, always difficult in situation to to have um, a clear sense of what uh, it's um, what what would be the effects of that. But what I can say for now is that um, these far right uh, publications actually uh, created, uh, sparked a, uh, an outrage and a massive re uh, reaction and a lot of support from the uh, uh, widest range of people possible from, from um, complete uh, anonymous people that that send thousands of support messages on the, the internet to, to Emmanuel Macron, who actually uh, publicly uh, said that he was, uh, he was denouncing the, 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 the publication. I think 
uh, it's it's uh, it's been three years uh, since I've been elected that I was I've been I've been the the subject of uh, harassment from far right from um, racist and sexist uh, uh, people uh, because of racism and sexism and the way uh, people of color, especially women of color and black women have been, um, have been uh, um, so few of us in the public light and, and uh, uh, when they, there's some, some public figure occur, uh, we've been subject, subjected to a lot of uh, uh, violence and symbolical violence and from, from the media, from, from the, the, the entire system. So it's, it's part of a long line of, of, of racism uh, toward, uh, directed toward the most visible uh, people, uh, people of color in, in media and in, and, and in politics. It's, I think it's also uh, an expression of what has been happening, and I touched a little bit about, uh, on that previously, um, in France, over the past 20, 20 years, um, right, far right ideas have, have really gained uh, legitimacy in the media and in politics. We call it the uh, le penisation, uh, um, the process of, you know, uh, there's been a massive of, uh, ideological and cultural uh, of offensive of, of, of the far right, who actually won some, some cultural. Um, uh battles like uh when they they kept um uh, pushing for anti-migrant uh legislation for you know they've been all those debates about uh um migrants and 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 anti-white racism and stuff like that and they became like mainstream and those ideas which used to be uh only on the far right some of them became really mainstream. Uh, and I think that that's why um, people uh, that, that wrote that, that piece uh, in this paper were, felt very free and very comfortable to do that uh, to me, especially since I'm from La France Insoumise. Um, so that's, that's um, I think that's, that's what's been happening. Um, and, um, and now, um, there, there's been like um, with the anti-war movement, with the uh, anti anti-racist movement, there have been um, uh, even more tension about those issues because uh, French France had, had to deal with its own history of racism uh, from slavery to, to to nowadays, and there have been resistance inside you know uh, inside your society, inside political force to face this. Um, so this is the context I wanted to, 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 to explain a little bit about the context in which those attacks, uh, those vicious attacks happened and, uh, and the fact that I think the reaction to that, the support, I am, I mean, very moved to, 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 to have from, uh, from thousands of people showed also that, um, that yeah, people are fighting back and there's a, there's a strong, um, tradition of anti-racist and anti-fa and an anti-fascist uh, resistance in French, in France, not just from you know activists, but inside the society. And I think it's very important uh, that um, after after so many years where the far right has been able to 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 infiltrate the mainstream, there's some, you know, there's some um, uh, fight back against that, and, and and people are saying like enough is enough. We can't let this them uh, keep keep doing that. And uh, so um, we'll see. Of course, it's, it won't magically change. Uh, the government is still um, having this strategy to try to push for uh, you know. Uh, Talk about migration. Talk about uh, you know supporting police brutality, and they are making everything. I mean, they are implementing the policy that the far right is advocating at the time, and that's what is is, is the more problematic uh, in the situation. Um, but I think it's a it's a it's it's, um, it's a it's a 
it's a small victory that we managed to have uh, after being being uh, so viciously attacked and uh, and the fact that there's still resistance to that in society and this resistance is very strong um and yeah that's thanks and uh, we'd like to offer you our full international solidarity we were contacted by freelance journalist today who wants to cover your case more in the German left press and we hope that people will find out and be able to support you as they can. Uh, Jerome, is there anything you want to say to this point? You may say no or you may say yes. No, I'm fine. I'm totally... Uh, okay, so I think this is a good time to wrap up. In a minute, I will give Danielle and Jerome, was Rome and Danielle, the chance to say anything they've forgotten to say about, any, about any, anything, any, anything else. Just quickly to remind you, uh, this is all being organised by the Berlin Linker Internationals. We do this on roughly a monthly basis. Obviously, COVID conditions make things a bit more difficult. If you'd like to know about um, other events which are coming up, then you can subscribe to our newsletter. Go to the website, theleftberlin.com, and fill in your email address. Bottom left where it says sign up for Berlin news, news and events. We also, the weekend after next, we're having our summer camp on the edge of Berlin. Um, please get in touch with us. For more information, it's free with a uh, lot of workshops and all sorts, of, all sorts of other things. Uh, that's enough for me, I think. So I'd just like to bring in first Jerome and then Danielle. If there's anything last you'd like to say, and then we'll close the meeting. Well, thank you for the left to organize this meeting, and thank you to Danielle to to participate to, uh, to take the time, especially now, to be there tonight. Thank you to all of you. And Danielle, last word from you. Oh, I won't last. I won't add much. I've been talking uh, way too long uh, uh, already. And just uh, thanking you for uh, this conversation and uh, and for the support uh, you, you expressed. And um, hopefully, we'll have other opportunity to keep um, uh, building the. Um, uh, the 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 relationship and the international um, European um, coordination and and solidarity and uh, um, and strategy we need also uh, to, to to build uh, and uh, and make a not in each country but also in Europe uh, the social movement and the political alternative. Uh, win, uh, win our, our, our fights, uh, for, uh, for social, uh, equality and, 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 uh, and, uh, and uh, environmental justice and, uh, uh anti racist, um, uh, anti racist, uh, uh, struggle. So thank you very much. And, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll speak soon and, and we'll see soon. Okay. Thank you once again to both of you. Thanks to Anthony, who behind the scenes has been doing all the technical things. Hopefully, we will have recorded this and we'll put a um, the, a tape of of this, uh, this this meeting on the website as soon as we as soon as we can. Thanks for everybody who um, took part in the discussion. It's just been everyone has just been listening. The question about the trade unions I got message later was from Ian McGregor from Newcastle, Newcastle SWP. Thank you for that, Ian, and. I think that's it for today. Um, let's call this a wrap. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>